Hey, this is Ace Spangler, and this is episode 7 of building the Cologne Cathedral in Lego. Last week, we worked on the arches, going over the entrances, so these three big ones here. Um, and then we started on the windows, we got the two started on the front. Um, we do need to add four more in the back, so two on each side. Um, so. Yeah, a lot of building up, so we put in the arches and then kind of the the columns were built up sort of to match that. Um, we ended it off kind of experimenting with the windows, but um, it's getting pretty complicated up there. I'm going to have to find a way to somehow arch it up there as well. There's a lot of weird curves that the cathedral has that are kind of difficult to make um, with Lego. You can already kind of see that uh, with these arches um, right now. Um, so with that, um, I'm going to try to get more time lapses in uh, for this video because we didn't get a ton of those. Well, I guess it's kind of gradually got, got uh, been getting better. So um, with that, uh, we'll probably start off by doing the windows on the side to try and get it more equal level. Um, I think it would be easier to experiment. Um, with the arches on the side windows and then move that technique to the front um, but with that um, we're getting pretty tall we'll probably after we get that done we'll build all the columns up to that level um, there's uh, like kind of a I don't know a overhanging little roof that goes over these arches we'll probably get to that as well and we'll probably end this segment out Hopefully try to get the cathedral up to another good level of uh, height increase. Um, probably won't do a ton of work on the inside. And yeah, that's probably going to be most of what happens in this segment. So with that, with that, stop talking and go ahead and get working. Okay guys, coming back after a pretty good amount of work, um, you saw a little bit of it in the time lapses, um, you kind of saw some of the window parts getting made, or what I pretty much did was I first made like half of the, or worked on one side, kind of figured out what I was doing and then I started up the time lapse and then did the other side of the build. So that's kind of what you saw in the time lapses. Um, as far as the center part, I didn't really get as far as I was hoping, but I at least got like the frame, the window frame of what um, kind of we can expect to see in the future. So I, I didn't really get a lot of work with any of these kind of frame areas. Like there's supposed to be a, um, a bunch of more detailed work on the inside of those. Um, I mainly focused on the windows for this segment and um, ended up getting all of them done, which brings them up to pretty decent height. They're now like the tallest things if you don't count these kind of like frames. Um, so those are looking good. Um, started off with the front ones just to get a good idea of what we're doing. Um, I think the so far they're going pretty well. Um, as far as like stained glass windows, I don't think these front ones were stained glass so I didn't do them. At least in a lot of the pictures and on like the interior pictures you don't see the, the front um, area. I'm thinking um, if you actually look at the cathedral more closely, the next row, like windows that are up here, are getting real high up here now. Um, these ones are stained glasses. I'm pretty sure I don't. These ones might be, but um, 
it's not really ones you can really see and I don't think they're the more detailed stained glass windows. So I'll leave these ones plain. Next level will be um, stained glass. Basically all the windows inside, like farther in on the main building, are also stained glass. So I'm going to have to get a bunch of different colored uh, transclear plates and stuff for those window part or stained glass windows. So that's something uh, to look ahead for. Um, at least in gathering some parts for that. Um, pretty good progress. We kind of just moved uh, the columns up a good amount to match the windows and the frames. So we got all those. We got these little little windowy things. I don't know, just another detail the cathedral has. Um, got the full window thing. Um, the kind of overhang or yeah, the overhang that goes over the windows themselves isn't completely accurate to the shape of the ones the cathedral actually has. I just really couldn't get a really good match for the one that is actually on the cathedral just because it's such an awkward shape to make in Lego. So I kind of settled for this one. It's uh, it's rounded enough that it's close, but uh, the other ones just, they're more like this arch, the actual window. So this is a little bit too round, but oh well, it's kind of hard. Um, to actually get that that sort of shape in Lego, so sort of settle for this. Um, yeah, so we got the columns moved up, got work on all the windows. Um, now the sides are quite a bit larger than before, so basically taller, if not the same height as everything else. So it's nice to see a little more than just like the front. Now we got a little bit more moving out this way. I'm thinking next segment we'll probably work our way to filling in these um, kind of frames and then there's uh, another set of frames that goes over these two so we'll have basically the same shape of frame just another two here and two here that brings us all up to about this height and I'm thinking once I get to about this height I should start working on this section right here just so um, we don't get any discrepancies or anything just make sure everything kind of flows well um, we don't want to start this until like basically we're up here or way up here and then we find out something's wrong and then we'll have to rework it but yeah um, just looking at this if you know the size of the cathedral it's ginormous so this thing's gonna be really tall and it's already pretty dense, it's getting pretty heavy. Um, so this thing's gonna, I'll probably have to make like a spot to cut it off so it can, um, so it's not so heavy that I can't even carry it. So it's it's pretty solid in there. Um, and it's kind of hard not to make it solid. So it's gonna be very heavy. And yeah, so it's gonna be real tall, real big. Um, but that's kind of what, the scale I got that's going to be what we have and um, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be real nice. Already, It's already looking pretty good so far. I'm really happy with how it's going. Um, so that's kind of the plan for next week. Just fill in a bunch of this stuff. Probably get to about this height. Not next segment. Um, I don't know how much work I'm going to get done next week just because it's Thanksgiving. Um, we'll be a little bit fi uh, busy with family coming over so I don't know how much time I'll actually have to build but I'll try to at least get some of like the design on the inside of these at the very least um, and see where we'll, where we'll go from there um, some other stuff I did I got a brick mania order in this weekend so just a quick thing I wanted to show you guys that I think is pretty cool from it I'm gonna have a separate video with uh, what I got, but um, these uh, boot stickers that Brickmania um, sent out, I got um, three packs of them just to kind of put on all my US infantry. And these things, they're really easy to put on, and I'm just I'm surprised with how good they look. They look a lot better than I was expecting, and um, just another step, I guess, to making my infantry another another uh, uh what's the word uh just stand out a little bit more and um i don't know get real good looking i also got this lieutenant helmet that he has on but yeah 
I don't know what else I'll add to my infantry, but just another thing to make them look real nice. Um, something that I am looking forward or hoping that Brickmania puts out is like ranks or um, company insignias. Um, that's something I'm looking for in the future. But uh, another thing, really cool, definitely um, adds a lot to your minifigures, makes them stand out, look real good. So I definitely rec would recommend checking those out. Um, with that, that's going to be it for this segment. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.